Well, Steve Hilton, founder and CEO of CrowdPack and a former strategy director with the UK Prime Minister David Cameron. Uh, Leslie Marshall, syndicated radio host and a Fox News contributor. And good day to both of you. Good morning. You both live in LA, huh? Yeah. Short commute for you both here exactly. in Vegas. Yeah. I think that is a very touching moment there from the Archbishop when you have a room tonight that's devoted to the faith and um, not quite sure how this is going to go. Well, I think his big point is that there is there is no profound apology. I don't think there's any apology. I think what what this is going to do is shine a spotlight on, I think one of the probably the most incendiary thing that we've seen from the many many hundreds of thousands of things in these WikiLeaks, the way the casual way in which people's faith was insulted in those remarks that were revealed, um, and it just go, it goes to that whole argument about that we first saw with the basket of deplorables comment, that the, the, the attitude towards so many Americans on the part of people involved in the Clinton campaign is just really patronizing and dismissive. And I think it could really reinforce this sense that you've got this out of touch elite that looks down their noses at millions of regular everyday Americans. I would love to go through the emails of everybody who works on the Trump campaign, because I would dare say we would find things like that. My mom always said, don't write anything down you don't want the rest of the world to see. Uh, one of the issues that I have, I agree with you, we were talking, you know, about if this had been another religious group, such as To Jesus, be clear, or, 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 these were not the words of Hillary Clinton. Ex exactly. But she that, will be, she will that be is called on, perhaps, tonight. Right to defend or to apologize or to defuse? I, I don't feel, you know, I, I have a staff and they're not my children, they're grown adults. They, you know, they may work for me, but their mindset and their opinions are not mine. Uh, you know, I could see her saying, hey, Jennifer, you should say, make an apology. I don't feel that Hillary Clinton should be making an apology for something her staffer said in an email in response to others. I think quite frankly, very staunch Catholics probably, you know, aren't already favorable of uh, Secretary Clinton, and especially after the last night when she was very specific yeah, but, on her very pro-choice stance Dolan is taking it personally for the following he, he believes if any other religious order was insulted there would be an apology immediately and he hasn't gotten that Steve yeah I think that Leslie's right that um, it's not personal to Hillary Clinton but I think that when you look at the whole um, culture that's emanating from these WikiLeaks it does say something about the attitude of, of the Clinton well, the Clinton establishment that's been around and together for so long, working together, and even though you can't trace this, like so many others, back to her directly, I think it says something really deep about how they feel about issues and about the country. And I think there's, there are other aspects of the WikiLeaks um, revelations that just simply don't have the opportunity to be discussed because they're a bit more complicated and, and there's lots of detail but there. This, this is, is really simple. It's pretty obvious. Exactly. You chose Catholicism because your friends would accept you. And if you chose to be evangelical, they would reject you. That's cutting. I was baptized in the Jordan River, and uh, I have a whole different uh, religious background. And one of the things I love about our nation, and my favorite part of our Constitution, is the First Amendment. And that covers our religion, that covers our freedom of what we're doing right now. Um, again, if she were to perhaps say something to Jennifer and you have to make an apology. But then again, let, let's be honest, I think it would fall largely on deaf ears. I think people would say if they came out with an apology tomorrow, oh, they're just, you know, or today, they're just doing this because of the dinner I tonight. That's very they're true. just doing it because Bill Hemmer said that they should mm -hmm. make an apology. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't I do think, think it would be true. perceived as genuine but let, let's, and received Let's wonder. see how it is handled tonight. I think you can do it in a very appropriate way. And I'll never put you guys in a basket, okay? <laughs> well, you know what, Bill? I think that when we see these things, it, it seems to me that you know, before long, everyone in America is going to end up in the basket of deplorables, apart from Bill, Chelsea, and Huma Abedin, the more we see these WikiLeaks revelations. Nice to see you both. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. See you. All right. Martha.